Did you see that? <laughs> oh man. On the liquid willow cat. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh Here he comes. <laughs> Get him. Six and a half inch full spawn female here. Yeah? Awesome. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, Lance, aka Angler X, and I head out on Lake Pepin. We're targeting walleyes, and I'll kind of go over our setup, what we use to target these fish. So, neither Angler X or myself ever fished this particular body of water before. So, we brought along everything we could think of jig rods, trolling rods, planter boards, and we decided since this is a big area, we're mainly going to target the points of the river channel. It is technically still the Mississippi River, just kind of widens out. So we focused our areas on these points, and I'll put up some map shots of what we were looking for here. Just uh, big points that run out, and we were fishing the windblown side and then the protected side as well. But to narrow it down, we started trolling lead core eight to ten feet of water. And in the locations that we noticed we'd pick up fish, we would stop and then drift and cast at these same fish. Once we caught probably three or four in this area, we would work that area um, fairly well until we no longer picked up any fish. That's one uh, tactic that we use on this particular day to get on some uh, good sized walleyes. You want to take it, Lance? Or? <laughs> I just set that one. Okay. You want to mark the spot on your Navionics? You did? Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's not fighting like a sheephead. But she's red, it's really shaking. Holy. <laughs> Look at that thing. What the heck? We've been trolling for a while now. I don't know how long, maybe an hour. Yeah. This is our first hookup. We're just trying to dial in this, this fight here. I haven't really figured it out yet. I'm curious to what this is. Looks big. It's yeah, something. Like a wall, though. No. Sheephead? Maybe. That's what I was thinking. If it is, it's probably a pretty good one to hit that crank. Yeah. yeah it looks like a sheephead. <laughs> big <one. laughs> hit that. Hit that crank at three mile an hour. <laughs> Well, you know, holy cat. You know what they say, if you're catching sheep at trolling, you're going too slow. <laughs> I was going over the tree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I got him. Holy cat. It's a big old sheep head. I don't know, that's probably like six pounder or so. <laughs> Hitting a crankbait. <laughs> Tail dancer, or Apollo. You don't go hungry, it? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, go over my trolling setup for lead core. Cabela's Depth Master Three trolling combo. You can pick these up, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, eighty to ninety bucks. I run two uh, nine foot Dipsy Diver rods for my outside rods, as you'll see in the video. And then my inside rods are seven foot six. Ideally, you'd want like a five foot rod. They do not make these that short. Seven six is fine. Just run them straight out the back and spool the reel up with whatever brand of lead core you prefer. I think I got suffix on here. I got four colors on here. Super simple way 
patrol when you're just getting started let out a color it drops five feet in depth i think i only got four colors on here with about 100 200 yards of mono backer underneath it you really don't need any more than that that'll put you down 20 feet and if you're pulling a crank that dies eight to ten feet that yeah, that's plenty deep so like i say for each color that you let out five foot of depth is what you'll achieve roughly yeah and just a super easy way if you want to get into trolling i myself have never trolled but this is an excellent way to troll on the river just let the color out until it starts ticking bottom and then adjust from there if you start running into shallower water and that rod tip is really hammering you want to reel up just uh they have really nice single handle reels on them too which is cool just reel it up you really don't even have to use the line counter just an awesome way to get into trolling to get yourself on some fish that you probably normally wouldn't target this time oh, of year i'm driving the boat now come on all right i'm gonna say that's a walleye walleye Sauger. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, he ain't that big. But that's good to see. We're doing something right. What's that? About 15 incher? Pretty close. Yeah. I'm gonna crash this into the point here. Over correct. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not used to driving a tiller. <laughs> nice. First walleye of the day. We're starting to get it figured out, I think. There you go. Sweet. Trolling. <laughs> Come on, clicker. <laughs> yeah, skiing him in. You can pretty much tell when they're decent size. This one really didn't even feel drag. Even no, <laughs> no, not at all. That's the right kind. That's probably like a 14 incher. We're on them. Here you go, a third walleye. Maybe a little bigger, we'll be in business. Yeah, nice fish. That seems to be the color, that and that orange one yeah. that we were running. Same speed, yeah. Nice. Super easy way to fish. I'm just trying to stay at the bottom edge of that. Okay. I don't know if you were targeting a certain depth or... Had, I've been in that 10 to 13. Okay. Fish have been hitting in closer to 10, so... Maybe we're out a little Yeah, so the plan was, if we didn't contact any fish trolling, keep on trolling until we find them. And once we did find them, cast at them. If that bite seemed to die off, we'd go right back to trolling new areas because this, this is a huge body of water. It's like fishing the Bay of Green Bay or anywhere like that where you just want to cover water and put yourself in a position to contact fish and then once you find those fish so as we were noticing there were other people catching fish just they wouldn't target us they wouldn't work those areas over again which is a good tip you know you start catching fish like that just keep checking that area and if you continue to catch fish you should stop and and slow your presentation down and see if you can get into some bigger fish because that's exactly what happened to myself and Angler X on that day was once we slowed our presentation, casting crankbaits, uh, ripping wraps, hair jigs, plastics, the fish size got bigger. We, we ran into a lot more fish in that 18 to 22 inch range where when we were trolling, the fish were generally 13, 14, 15 inch in that size. Yeah, you called the, yeah, that's a walleye. Did he come right to the surface? A few fish, there's nothing real big yet. 
That's the orange chrome I switched out from the fire, oh, fire tiger. <laughs> Boy, feisty. Yeah. Little guy there. Throw him back. Oh boy. Yep. Dragging him around. <laughs> he says, Oh you got oh you got two on that side now. There's a sauger. There's a sauger finally, wow. And and nine feet of water. Sweet. We're on them. Just got to get some bigger ones. So the speed that we found to be the ideal speed that we really started picking up the walleyes was three mile an hour down river. I know that seems fast. It did to me, but that's honestly what we found these fish at was three mile an hour. We didn't really pick anything up anything less than that. That was just our ideal speed with the water temps being 62 to 63 degrees. That Speed seemed about perfect for getting on these fish. Yeah, and so here. Yeah. Jeez. Not one of them. <laughs> sure. Yeah, little guy. Though, hungry. The bait's as big as he is. Insane. Insane walleye bite. Smaller fish. Yeah. Doesn't really seem to be a color that's. <laughs> you call that like a glaze? Uh, that's that crawfish? fire crawfish, or yeah. Cool fish. Man. Oh, Jeez. that must have been a snag. That was a snag. Had to be. Oh yeah, we got really good. Yeah, but that's, and that's where that fish was. Yeah, he just slammed it. I saw the line go. That's why the, they're in there a little bit shell. That's a nice fish. 20 incher. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. 18, 19. Yeah. Nice fish. Best one of the day. Pulling cranks. We got pepin. Good fish. Good one. Good one? Oh, Netter? Skipper. Yep. Bigger netter. You just said, though, I don't know why they don't like this crankbait. Well, they really like it. Nice. Some kind of diver, deep diver or something. Yeah, like I was saying, I was fishing with Angler X that day. Met up with him over on Lake Pepin. Head on over, check out his channel, Angler X, on YouTube. He has a lot of awesome content, multi-species. Just a great all-around angler. Highly recommend checking out his channel. Had a great time with him. Want to thank him again for getting together with me and doing this video. It was an awesome time. Look forward to uh, some more videos with him in the future.